I have been testing ChatGPT5 since its release in August 2025. And here's what surprised me. This isn't just an incremental update. OpenAI claims it makes 80% fewer factual errors than the previous model. That changes everything. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm breaking down every major feature of ChatGPT5, from its expanded memory and multimodal capabilities to voice chat and tool integrations. And I'll share the exact prompting techniques that actually get the best results. By the end, you'll know exactly how to leverage this AI to work smarter, code faster, and honestly, make fewer mistakes. First up, let's talk about why ChatGPT5 is fundamentally different from everything that came before it, the unified intelligence shift. Here's what most people don't realize about ChatGPT5. You're not just getting a faster version of GPT-4. You're getting an entirely unified AI system that automatically decides when to think fast and when to think deep. No more guessing which model to select for which task. ChatGPT-5 handles that routing internally. Think of it like this. Imagine having an assistant who knows when to give you a quick answer and when to stop. Think deeply and work through complex reasoning. That's exactly what OpenAI built here. According to their own benchmarks, GPT-5 combines a fast mode for on-the-fly answers with an advanced thinking mode for complex tasks, and it chooses between them seamlessly. But here's where it gets interesting. On difficult benchmarks, GPT-5 produces 45% fewer tool calls and 22% fewer output tokens than the previous high-end model. Translation? It arrives at smarter answers with less computational effort. You get the same quality, actually better quality, in less time and with fewer resources. And that 80% reduction in factual errors I mentioned earlier? That's not marketing speak. In real factual question and answer tests, GPT-5 makes about 80% fewer mistakes than the older GPT-4-based system. If you've ever had ChatGPT confidently give you wrong information, and we all have, you know why this matters. Fewer hallucinations means you can actually trust the answers you're getting. Now let's talk about something that completely changes how you can use this tool. Context that actually works. Remember when you'd hit ChatGPT's context limit and it would just... forget everything you told it? Those days are over. GPT-5 can consume hundreds of thousands of tokens of context. We're talking about the ability to feed it entire books, complete code bases, or massive documents all at once. And it actually remembers everything. The API supports up to roughly 272,000 input tokens and 128,000 output tokens. That's about 400,000 total tokens of context. To put that in perspective, that's like having a conversation where the AI can hold the equivalent of multiple novels in its mind simultaneously while talking to you. But wait until you see this. On inputs containing 128,000 to 256,000 tokens plus image data, yes, images too, GPT-5 answered correctly about 89% of the time. That's a huge improvement for truly long, multimodal context. You can now throw everything at it, text, images, code, and it keeps up. This next part will surprise you, especially if you're a developer. The coding revolution. ChatGPT5 is the strongest coding model OpenAI has ever built, and I'm not exaggerating when I say it's a game changer for developers. It can navigate large code bases, fix tricky bugs, and even implement multi file refactors or entirely new features from scratch. Here's what's wild GPT5 can take a simple description and produce a full stack app. We're talking React front end with TypeScript, Tailwind CSS styling complete with clean, maintainable code. In side-by-side -side tests, developers preferred GPT-5's generated code 70% of the time. On a software engineering benchmark, it scored 74.9% versus 69.1% for the previous model, while using 22% fewer tokens and 45% fewer tool calls. But here's the pro tip that most people miss. 
some users discovered that prompting the model to internally draft a rubric for the best solution without showing it to you yields outstanding results. It's like asking the AI to grade itself before it even starts writing code. The quality jumps significantly, and there's something else happening here that feels almost magical. GPT-5 is more proactive during coding tasks. It outputs intermediate status updates and plans between steps, almost like a pair programmer walking you through its work. It'll compile, test, check for errors, summarize progress, and suggest next steps without you even asking. It's the closest thing I've experienced to having an actual senior developer sitting next to you. The model was specifically trained to favor clean, maintainable code over clever one-liners. You get well-documented, idiomatic code by default. No more sorting through cryptic solutions that technically work, but nobody can understand. Now, this next feature is something I use every single day. Memory that learns you. ChatGPT5 actually pays attention over time. Its memory feature now references all your past conversations and custom instructions, tailoring replies based on your history. The more you chat, the more it learns about your preferences, your writing style, personal interests, even specifics like, I prefer bullet point summaries, or I own a coffee shop. Here's how it works. ChatGPT stores two types of memory your explicit saved notes and insights it gleans from chat history. And you're always in control. You can manage or turn them off at any time if privacy is a concern. But wait, there's more. You can now choose preset personalities from settings, cynic, robot, listener, or nerd. These adjust the assistant style. Whether you want concise, sarcastic, supportive, or technical responses without typing any custom prompt. It's a quick way to steer the tone based on what you need in that moment. And if you're using the GPT store, those custom GPTs can have their own memory too. For example, a book recommendation GPT could remember your favorite genres and tailor suggestions, just like ChatGPT does in your main chats. It's personalization at scale. Free users actually get the core GPT-5 experience until they hit usage limits, then they seamlessly fall back to GPT-5 mini which is still high quality. Plus and Pro users get more usage, and Pro users even get access to GPT-5 Pro, an extra capable version that thinks even longer for the toughest queries. And for Pro users, there's this cool feature called ChatGPT Pulse. It does daily research for you based on your past chats and preferences, gathering information, and delivering visual summaries each morning. You can thumbs up or thumbs down items to curate your interests so future updates get more relevant. It's like having a research assistant who knows exactly what you care about. This next capability completely changes how you can interact with AI. Voice and vision combined ChatGPT5 isn't just about text anymore. It speaks, listens, sees, and even translates in real time. All users now have access to advanced voice mode and the experience is genuinely impressive. The voice sounds warm and human-like, with actual intonation and emotion. The old robotic standard voice has been retired. But here's where it gets really interesting. Voice mode supports real-time translation between languages. You can have a bilingual chat where ChatGPT seamlessly converts speech between English, Spanish, Portuguese, Mandarin, and more. In testing, OpenAI described these improvements as making conversation effortless, no matter where you are or who you're speaking with. That's not hyperbole. Voice mode also now supports screen and video sharing on the web, making live interactive demos possible. Plus, you can record meetings and get transcripts or summaries automatically. OpenAI added a desktop voice transcript feature where you speak into ChatGPT and it transcribes with timestamps even running a summary afterwards. The end result? A very natural spoken AI interface. You can literally ask your computer a question out loud and get a conversation back. It feels less like using software and more like talking to someone who actually understands you. And speaking of understanding, let's talk about vision. GPT-5's multimodal reasoning is a massive leap forward. It can interpret and discuss images just as well as text, analyzing charts, 
summarizing photos or diagrams, answering questions about pictures. It integrates seamlessly with dal e 3 for image generation, so you can ask it to create or edit images by description. What this means in practical terms, you can screenshot an error message, send it to ChatGPT, and get a diagnosis. You can upload a chart from a report and ask it to explain the trends. You can even show it a whiteboard sketch and have it turn that into actual code. The barrier between visual information and AI understanding has essentially disappeared. Now let's talk about how ChatGPT5 connects to the outside world. Tools and plugins that extend everything. ChatGPT5 is designed to use tools effectively. It can call external services through plugins to fetch data, run code, shop, and more. OpenAI's plugin system lets ChatGPT connect to web browsers, shopping assistants, knowledge bases, or your own APIs. Web browser and code interpreter, advanced data analysis, are built right in. That means you can ask ChatGPT to pull in live information like current news or stock prices, crunch numbers from your spreadsheets, generate plots, or even make bookings on third-party sites, all behind the scenes. In the ChatGPT app, advanced data analysis has been improved significantly. You can now upload CSVs, images of charts, or even PowerPoint files, and ChatGPT will analyze them for you. There are also community-built plugins and connectors to productivity apps. Slack, Notion, Linear, GitHub. You can link these so ChatGPT can pull in your company's data during research. Essentially, ChatGPT5 acts as a smart orchestrator. It reasons about your request and calls whichever tool, plugin, custom API, or built-in function will best answer it. You don't need to know which tool does what. You just describe what you need, and GPT-5 figures out the rest. This is powerful, but there's a catch. To actually get the most out of ChatGPT-5, you need to know how to talk to it. Let me show you the techniques that actually work. Piro tips for maximum performance. Here are the prompt engineering tricks that separate average users from power users. First, be clear and specific. The model excels at following detailed instructions. Instead of, tell me about Paris, try, you are a friendly tour guide. Write a three-paragraph overview of Paris's landmarks in an engaging tone. This level of detail helps ChatGPT target the response. Use system or custom instructions. In the official API and ChatGPT, you can set the role or style up front. For instance, start with, you are an expert software engineer who writes clean code to prime GPT-5 accordingly. The model is very receptive to explicit setup like this. Ask for outputs in specific formats. Need bullet points, tables, code blocks? Say so. GPT-5 will gladly use markdown formatting if instructed. Structure makes a huge difference in getting usable results. Induce chain of thought reasoning. When tackling complex problems, have GPT-5 think step by step. Tell it. First outline a plan, then execute each step in turn. OpenAI's own guide shows success using hidden prompts to make GPT-5 internally create a rubric and iterate. You can also simply say, think out loud and solve this. The model is trained to reason internally, but nudges like this often yield even better reasoning. Control length and detail. GPT-5 introduced a verbosity control. By default, it writes medium length answers, but you can override by asking for a brief summary or detailed analysis. The model reliably adapts. In the API, there's even a reasoning effort parameter. But in plain ChatGPT, you can prompt, please think carefully about this to similar effect. Iterate and refine. Prompt engineering is iterative. If the answer isn't perfect, tweak your prompt or ask GPT-5 to improve it. Meta prompting works great. ChatGPT, how could I rewrite this prompt to get better responses? Often gives immediate improvements. Avoid contradictions. Because GPT-5 follows instructions so closely, conflicting directives can confuse it. Don't tell it two opposite things in one prompt. Keep instructions consistent and focused. Leverage plugins and tools explicitly. Tell GPT-5 when to use a tool if needed. 
Search the web for current prices or analyze this table. In ChatGPT, you can invoke plugins by name and the assistant will call them. This makes your prompts more powerful. And finally, use custom GPTs for repeatable tasks. Create a custom GPT through OpenAI's Builder, bake in instructions and specialized knowledge. Then just chat with that tailored agent. This is how power users automate workflows. Final thoughts. ChatGPT5 is a huge leap forward. Faster thinking, better facts, full stack coding abilities, memory that grows with you, and natural voice chat. All wrapped in a single assistant. As OpenAI's research shows, it's a groundbreaking step toward more general AI while keeping safety and control in mind. Start by experimenting. Ask GPT-5 to plan projects, analyze data, or code an app. You'll see its new skills shine. Use the tips I shared to craft your prompts precisely, and you'll get results that feel almost magic. If you found this breakdown useful, hit that like button and subscribe for more AI deep dives. I'm constantly testing new tools and techniques, and I share everything I learn right here. Try out ChatGPT5 yourself and let me know in the comments what clever tricks or use cases you discover. Seriously, I want to hear what you're building with this. The AI revolution is accelerating, and the gap between people who know how to use these tools effectively and those who don't is getting wider every day. Don't get left behind. I'll see you in the next one.